Hello, today we are looking into linear maps and in particular into the question what is the relationship between injection of linear maps and the kernel. So if you don't know what the kernel is, I will link a video where I explained it down in the description below. And if you don't know what injectivity is, I will also link it down in the description below. So we are going to prove that being injective for linear map FA is exactly the same as when the kernel of this linear map is just zero. So the zero vector, this is an element. So this is an element of uh, V because our linear map maps from the vector space V to the vector space W. So let's do the first direction first this one. So if FA is injective, then only zero from V maps to zero from W. So we know for linear maps, zero always maps to zero, but the question is, are there also other elements from our vector space V which also map to zero? So because FA is injective, then the answer is no. There's only zero maps to zero here because the pre-image of zero can only have one element and it's at least zero, so it must be exactly zero. It follows kernel of FA is exactly zero, yeah? Because zero is always included. There cannot be more elements than zero in the pre-image of zero because FA is injective. For this reason, the kernel of FA is exactly zero. So now let's do the order direction, which is more interesting. So assume kernel of FA is exactly zero. So now for injectivity, we are looking into fx equals fy for some xy from the vector space v. And if we want to prove that fa is injective, then as always for injectivity, we want to conclude from that from this equality, it follows x equals y. We don't know whether this is true now, but this is our goal here. And this equality is exactly the same as the following. So we can write something equivalent here, fax minus fay, we just put the right hand side to the other side, and this equals zero. And because fa is a linear map, fa is linear, we can combine them here have then fa of x minus y equals zero. So this equality actually tells us x minus y as a vector from v is an element of the kernel of fa because fa maps this element to zero. So it follows x minus y is an element of kernel of fa. But the kernel of FA is assumed to be only zero. Yeah? So this is only consisting of the zero vector. For so the kernel of FA consists only of the zero vector. This was our assumption for the second part of the proof. So it must follow x minus y equals zero. And this is equivalent to x equals zero. So we concluded if fa of x equals fa of y for some elements of the vector space, it must be that x equals y. And this shows fa is injective and this concludes our proof. So if this video was helpful to you and you would like to see more videos like this, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. See you next time in the next video. Bye.